Zombie Apocalypse. Hallo Leute und herzlich willkommen zum dritten Part von Game of Thrones. Wir sind jetzt hier bei Alistair und beginnen einfach mal. Ich hoffe, dass ich jetzt hier keinen Framebacks habe. Ich hatte ihn bei der Testaufnahme ein bisschen geruckelt. Mal gucken, ob das jetzt geht. With things as they are, what choice do we have? If things are so bad, what do you propose to do? It's been too hard for too long. It's time to revolt. We must take matters into our own hands. We'll take up arms. If you follow that path, the army will have no choice but to fight against you. Do you want this to end in blood and tears? You don't know what you're talking about, stranger. The house is dying. The army of River Spring is but a shadow of what it was. You obviously know nothing of the misery we suffer here. That may be, but I do know that violence is answered with more violence. This path never ends well. We're already suffering. What is it to us if we die of hunger or by a sword? What has happened here? These lands were once thriving. It's the Lords. It's been too long since they cared about what happens in their own lands. Neighboring lords have taken the chance to grab some of our land, and nothing is done to stop it. And now that Lord Sarwick is dead, it will only get worse. We must do something. But there are still Sarwicks in Riverspring. Don't make me laugh. The eldest fled years ago. As for the others, they're no better than he. Anyway. This concerns only the people of River Spring, stranger. So be it. I pray that your choices will not lead you to reckless acts. May Relor light your path through the shadows. Gather round, citizens of River Spring. Come. Ich schreibe mal hier auf die Karte nur eine Quest im Moment. Und wir gehen da einfach mal hin. Forgive my boldness, noble stranger, but I cannot let you walk into certain death like that. What do you mean? Well, I'm not sure of the customs in the free cities nowadays, but I wouldn't dream of entering Westeros arm like that. And yet, as the smith labors day and night for us, it so happens that I sell the finest weapons. Blunt. Cutting, perforating, you know what they say, my lord. Don't buy your blade until you know what you plan to stick it into. Oh, also hier kann man auf jeden Fall einmal durchgehen, so was die verschiedenen Waffen so bringen, wie zum Beispiel hier. Tell me more about cutting weapons. The most popular. I know of no weapon passed down through families that is not a sword, my lord, and there are good reasons for that. Cutting weapons are especially designed to fight against light armor such as leather and even the skin underneath. Do you need more information? Das brauchen wir gar nicht zu wissen, das können wir später auch, falls wir es mal brauchen, noch nachlesen. Falls wir zum Beispiel zu schwer werden, wir dann wirklich darauf achten müssen, was wir gerade für einen Waffentyp benutzen. Bei den Pfeilen zum Beispiel kann man sich da relativ gut entscheiden. Ich denke, das machen wir mal später. I have things to do. Don't hesitate to come back and see me in the Merchant Square. I weep to see you so ill-equipped in this town. And don't forget, you'll be wanting armor. After all, no matter the weapon you face, simple clothes will not protect you. Ah, ja, genau. Hier haben wir das noch mal einmal im Überblick. Stichwaffen, mittlere Rüstung, Cap, Schlagwaffen, schwere Rüstung. Der Schadensbonus von 15 Prozent, das ist eigentlich ganz schön viel. Vor allem hatten die Leute noch ein Negativ, also jetzt zum Beispiel Stich gegen. Dicke Rüstung gibt nie was, glaube ich, aber das weiß ich jetzt nicht genau, da käme ich mir gut mit aus. Ja, ist was zu klauen. Und da sind wir. Halt, Priest. This town is in mourning. Access to the castle is closed during the ceremony. I'm actually here to attend Lord Sarwick's burial. I'm afraid that's not possible. I'm under strict orders to only allow entry to close kin. With the villagers' current grumblings, we don't want to risk problems. Mm. 
Please call Mr. Harwin. The ceremony is about to begin. I doubt he'll come for a priest of her law. John, go inform Maester Harwin and bring back Captain Ryman. Good old Ryman, captain of the guard. Things certainly have changed in my absence. What is going on here? Why has John gone for the Maester? Ryman, it's me, Alistair. So the hells? Alistair? Graydon, I told you only family. That excludes peasants, dogs and cravens who abandon their families. Enough, Ryman. However long I was absent, this house is still mine. How dare you? You disappeared without so much as a goodbye years ago, and now you return as if nothing happened. The reasons for my exile are mine alone. I owe you no explanation. I, I care about your reasons? It's your fault that Lord Sarwick is dead. You've lost your head, cousin. Your departure destroyed him. He was never the same again. Your judgment is clouded, Ryman. I can smell the ale on your breath from here. What? Stand back! I'll make you eat your words, priest! Okay, können wir ja gleich mal hier ausprobieren, was wir haben. W, hoffentlich. Hört sich gut an. Ach, das hört sich auch gut an. Dann haben wir nachher alles. Ich will mich bewegen. Ach ja. Enough! Do you not think we have enough dead here? Mr. Harwin? Alistair! Finally! I prayed for your return. This traitor no longer has his place here, Maester Harwin. He abandoned his castle and his family. Seven gods! Get a hold of yourself, Ryman. I wrote to him to invite him to Lord Sarwick's funeral. I prefer to leave than to hear more of this. Alistair, what a relief it is to finally see you. I had help from my contacts in Bravos to inform you of your father's death. The funeral will be in the Godswood. The ceremony has already begun. Why is it not held at the Sept? It would be if it were not in ruins. Riverspring is suffering on all fronts, I fear. Let us go now. Come with me, Alistair. Let us speak as we walk. What happened here, Maester? Oh, How could my father allow things to get to this point? You know, after you left, Lord Reynold changed. He began to live more and more in the past and stopped taking care of his duties. Your sister quickly found herself managing more than she should have. Eliana helped my father govern? Well, these last few months, She's practically run the house herself. In spite of her efforts, she was unable to slow the inevitable ruin of her lands without a lord. But all is not so dark. Many of your father's vassals remain faithful to their oath. They have all come to the burial in order to honor his memory. We will speak of all this again after the ceremony. Let us make haste, I beg of you. Jetzt klicken wir das an. Ja, das ist manchmal ein bisschen nervig, weil es gibt teilweise so eine ähm, Geist-Sequenzen, wo man nicht sprinten kann. Das heißt, man muss halt ewig hinter den Leuten herlaufen. Aber das passiert jetzt nicht so häufig, das geht noch. Hält sich in Grenzen. Aber ich habe heute mir auch meinen Wecker dabei, also das heißt, die, die wird jetzt bei 15, 20 Minuten sein, die Folge. Nicht so übertrieben wie die anderen. Hello, Red Priest. I am Lady Eliana Sarwick, daughter of the late Lord Sarwick. You are just in time for the ceremony. Were you close to my father? You have changed much in 15 years, little sister. Alistair, why have you returned? We don't need you here. Harwin told me of father's death. It was my duty to come. 15 years without any news. And he had to die for us to see you again. You would have done better to stay where you were. 
I do not doubt that my departure was difficult for you. Difficult? To say the least, your disappearance was our father's ruin. Do you know how long I cried after you left? And how long I hoped for news of you? I am sorry. I left Westeros without once turning back, it's true. I understand your reaction. It must have been unbearable for you. But I had to leave. Know that I never forgot you. That's easy for you to say. And you should know that we here learn to live very well without you. I understand your reaction, Eliana. I doubt it. Go pay your last respects to father. We will speak later. May the stranger, the eternal outcast, now oh, guide you to the father. And may he judge you fairly and deliver you from the... Who is that man? I believe that is the Elder Sawick, the one who disappeared. He has certainly changed, but I recognize him. Ich glaube, das haben die nicht erwartet. How could you desecrate our father's body that way? I desecrated nothing. I performed the final kiss, the tribute that priests of R'hllor pay to the dead. You may be a red priest, but you should respect the beliefs of Riverspring. I did not intend to be disrespectful, little sister. Do not think that it is easy for me to speak with you after all this time. <laughs> this is all water under the bridge now. At the time, I saw no other way. Fifteen years ago, the war that King Robert Baratheon fought to claim the throne forced me to commit deeds which haunt me still. The very idea of returning to you was too painful. I did the only thing left for me to do. I left and began a new life elsewhere. Not long ago, I received a letter from Maester Harwin telling of father's death. I could no longer hide myself. It was time to confront my past. What I regret the most, Ilyana, is that by fleeing to the other side of the waters, it is you whom I wounded. All these years I have thrown a veil over your memory. And you return at the moment when everything is in turmoil. I must be alone for the moment. I will see you later, Alistair. Take your time, little sister. I understand. Alistair, Maester Arwen would like to speak with you. He awaits you in the castle courtyard. And if I may add, you should be ashamed of that kiss during the ceremony. My thanks, Ravella. I shall go and see him. Joa. Wow. Ach, mit dem kann ich später auch noch reden. Alistair, there you are. Please leave us. So, you're not too unsettled by the situation here? What I saw of the town upon my arrival was enough. It is a disaster. The people cannot go on like this. I have heard tell that neighboring lords have taken our people's lands. Indeed. The poverty has worsened over the years. When neighboring lords became aware of your father's situation, they took advantage of the opportunity. But they have no right to do so. Our lieges, the Lannisters, should have been notified. Indeed. But our relations with them have suffered since your father held Tywin Lannister responsible for your departure. It was after his death that your sister decided to reopen talks by going to see the most influential member of their family. 
That is why she requested an audience with Queen Cersei Lannister at the Red Keep. It was made very clear, our lieges will act once our land has a new master. So your sister worked towards this end. Riverspring has belonged to House Sarwick for generations. Ilyana has refused to marry a lord from any other house. So, the Queen has chosen a man for your sister. Who is it? Valar, your father's bastard son, your half-brother. Valar? I left Westeros hoping never to hear that name again. It is out of the question for my sister to marry him. He shares our blood. How can the Queen condone a marriage which goes against nature? You realize that if Ilyana were to wed another lord, she would take her husband's name. Being a bastard, Valar has no family name. It was the only solution to keep Riverspring for House Sarwick. What has changed? He was but a symbol squire when he went off to war with me. Only a knight may marry a lady. Valar rose through the ranks and was knighted. The queen took him into her service. But Valar served House Sarwick. How did he get close to the queen? Seeing him return alone from the war, your father blamed him for your disappearance. No matter how much Valar claimed to work for the prosperity of House Sarwick, your father wouldn't hear any of it. He cursed him and chased him away from River Spring for good. Your half-brother was mad with rage and left seeking vengeance. Apparently, he spent several years at the Citadel, using education to compensate for his low birth. A maester cannot become a lord. He never became maester, but stopped at the rank of acolyte. He learned the art of war, studied the higher mysteries, and forged links. He was then thrown out of the Citadel several years later for studying the forbidden arts. He's been a sellsword ever since. His reputation spread quickly, and royal ears heard of him. In two years, he went from simple soldier to the Queen's guard. He moves in the shadows. The nobles of the court fear him. How do you know all of this? I went with your sister to the Red Keep in King's Landing for her audiences with the Queen. It is there that I learned what I know of him. Valar, he has taken too much from me already. I cannot just stand by while he marries my sister. There is something else of which we should speak. I would have liked to spare you this. I do not believe that your father's death was an accident. There are certain indications that lead me to believe that he was poisoned. Are you sure? Believe me, Alistair, I know this subject. The Strangler is a difficult poison to detect, but it leaves certain traces that cannot be caused by anything else. Schon wieder so ein langer Dialog, also hier drauf ist auf jeden Fall Schluss, würde ich mal sagen. Also ihr habt jetzt einmal die englische Version, und dann würde ich ganz gerne einmal, dass ihr kurz sagt, wollt ihr die deutsche oder die englische und dann werde ich das jetzt auch möglichst in 15, 20 Minuten Takt so weiterhalten. Außerdem, wenn ihr mal Bock auf einen Livestream habt, wo ihr ihn wirklich mit Entscheidungen treffen könnt, das heißt, wo ihr dann live sagt, nimm dies, nimm das, bei den Dialogen vor allem und so, könnt ihr da auch mal Wünsche äußern, dann werde ich da was organisieren. So, dann machen wir hier mal zu Ende so langsam. Did Father have any ongoing conflicts which could have prompted someone to murder him? I am not certain, but there are rumors of a possible culprit. Tell me who it is. This may overwhelm you, but the rumors say that it is your younger brother, Garwin. Garwin? He was but a child when I left. He and Lord Reynold had some serious quarrels, and he disappeared on the very night of your father's death. We've had no news of him since. Why? Why would he have done such a thing? Maester Harwin, the people are rebelling. Rioting has broken out throughout the town. With all of this festering discontent, it was only a matter of time before this happened. Oh. Tell me, does the Riverspring Guard have the situation under control? For now, they are securing the entrances to the castle. Barricades protect us from a direct attack. 
But the streets are inaccessible to us. We have too few men. The guard is overwhelmed. Who is behind this revolt? I think I know who leads them. I cross paths with a certain Tyrek when arriving. A rabble-rouser, telling the people to take up arms. Tyrek? I heard some guards say that he was getting people worked up in the marketplace. How did things get this far out of hand? Well, the lords left the castle after the burial, with their fine clothes and all. Whereas the villagers are starving, all of this flaunted wealth must have pushed them too far. Everything erupted. The villagers began to attack the lords, taking them hostage. You said that the revolt is being led from the main square. We must go there immediately. Captain Ryman says that it's impossible. Our men are barely managing to keep them at bay at the castle doors. There are not enough of us to attempt an escape. Where is Captain Ryman? He is at the doors. He's the one that ordered the barricades. Seven hells! If Ryman deals with it, the revolt will end in flames and bloodshed. Riverspring has already suffered too much. I must join Ryman. Riverspring needs me. I will not watch our land fall into ruins without acting. Very well. But I beg you to be careful. You are a Sarwick. Act as a liege, Lord Alster. And know that your acts will have consequences. I will do what must be done. I am sure you will. So, wir werden tun, aber wir tun beim nächsten Mal und damit beende ich hier die Aufnahme und wünsche euch noch einen schönen Tag, Nacht, whatever und bis zum nächsten Mal.